I can tell you the street gang presence is uh, a lot more sophisticated. There are more guns that are in the city. So here is the chief's plan to address the escalating violence. It's called Project Community Space. The 11-week program will start rolling out tomorrow, directed by the Guns and Gangs Task Force. Chief Saunders says it will be intelligence-based, with more officers in affected communities. If it sounds familiar, it is. Last July, the chief made a similar announcement after a spike in shootings. The release said the focus would be intelligence-led, with more frontline resources, without saturating neighbourhoods, at a cost of $3 million. Today's plan is funded by the $4.5 million announced this week by all three levels of government. Chief, maybe I've just been doing this way too long, but it seems like there's a cycle that happens continuously. One of the questions I have is, is why weren't these in initiatives put in place prior to the summer so that we could address these problems before they erupted? Well, there's, there's, there's a lot when we talk about street gang violence, uh, Cynthia, and I can tell you right up until the end of March, we had a 24% uh, reduction of, uh, of uh, gun offenses that were across the city. Uh, when we talk about intelligence-led policing, we have to do it in accordance to what the situation is. The problem with street gang uh, violence is that it is dynamic in nature. You can take one or two particular flashpoints and then you see that it starts to expand and multiply. Last month had the highest number of shootings in one month ever recorded by Toronto police. The August long weekend alone saw 17 shootings. There have been a total of 267 so far this year, which is a five-year high. The chief emphasized police can't stop the gang violence alone. There has to be a holistic social approach and greater deterrence. People aren't born to be street gang members. They become. But right now, the deterrent factor, I, I think, is not as strong as it could be. And, and so when it comes to that question of am I going to pick that gun up and use it, um, the deterrent factor is not as strong. The chief noted today that the gun gang culture has changed. It used to be all about the notoriety. Now it's all about the money funded by drugs and human trafficking. This pilot project will end in 11 weeks in October, and the chief says he will give an update on its results in November.